Hope you're doing good. Mike get back with another video. Back here with another iOS 18.1 beta video. And this time it's in reference to beta 2. And with iOS 18.1 beta 2, it comes with all the changes that took place with iOS 18 beta 5 and iOS 18 beta 6. So 18.1 was so far behind, they had to catch everything up and combine everything with this beta 2 update for iOS 18.1. Now, if we come into settings, I'm going to show you guys the build number here. I have an interesting theory as to what may take place with this update. And as we see here, if we come into iOS version, you'll see that we are on an e-build. So for iOS 18.1 to be on an e-build this early, I think that 18.1 could drop very soon after iOS 18, within a matter of weeks, actually. I'm talking about like a few weeks, no more than a month. And the reason why I say that could be the case is because Apple Intelligence is actually coming with iOS 18.1, and I don't think Apple wants to hesitate too much on withholding that from their shared promises. And so I think that iOS 18.1 actually could drop pretty fast right after iOS 18. And this could mark one of those few moments in Apple's software history where iOS 18.1 drops maybe even sooner than that after the initial launch of the brand new software. So I just want to put that out there real quick in terms of what we got going on with the software with iOS 18.1. I know the iOS 18 is on a B build as in a B, a B build. So iOS 18 is, is gaming to be done or be stabilized probably within the next three weeks or so. So definitely stay on the lookout for that as well. Now, as a result of these <laughs> beta software updates, what is new with this update? Well, they did some more addressing of the home screen customization. And if I was to show you guys here, because I actually have been experiencing a specific issue already with mine, and that is my app icon size continues to change. So once it, so either flipping the dark mode or flipping what kind of actual focus mode I'm in, my sizing will actually change. If I edit my lock screen, my icon size will change. So let's say I come in here, I press and hold, I come in to customize. I don't change anything. Let's just hit done. Nothing changed. I come back in. You see, it changed back to the regular sized icons. I don't like that. So for the purpose of the video, I'm not going to mess with it again. But just to show you guys, this is a bug that I'm experiencing right now is the fact that my icon size will not stay large. Now, I do like the fact that the icons, more icons do have a dark mode, meaning the JW Library app now has an official dark mode when it goes to dark mode. The Apple Maps icon has changed its dark mode look. So if I actually come here to edit and I come in here to customize, along with the icon options actually reordering themselves as well. If I click dark, you'll see that maps has uh, was reverted back to that initial dark. Well, actually, no, we actually, I don't think have had this version of the maps dark mode. One of the other ones had some purple in the background alongside the dark mode aspect of it, but now it's actually more dark mode and just the, the road that you're driving is has some color to it as well as your icon. So that's nice to see. As I told you, JW uh, app has a dark mode in large as well, right? That was one of the things I was hoping would change and it did. So now we're just waiting on Instagram to get a dark mode. And if I actually find... Find My, Find My also has been adjusted. So now you see Find My also has a new dark mode look as well. So it's very nice to see Apple continuing to make little small tweaks here and there. And I definitely hope that they uh, <laughs> uh, fix that issue when it comes to the icon sizes changing because I definitely don't like that. And I also don't like the fact that whenever you choose dark mode that the tint turns on. I don't like that. So let me go back to automatic for now. Now, one of the things you may have also seen is if I go ahead and press and hold again and hit edit, you will see that we now have an edit pages icon. Uh, this allows you to edit your pages, to hide certain pages, or to get rid of pages altogether right here. So I also like the fact that they included that as part of the edit feature. And to cap, it, uh, to cap off the icons, tint now can match your wallpaper and link to that wallpaper. So let's say if I come in and customize and I click on link, this is what my 
set would look like in here. So maybe I want to lighten it up a little bit. Just a little bit. This is my icon color set for this focus mode, right? So now let's say I come in here and I want to change and come over here to my hands off mode, which is really more dark based. As you see, now my icons look like this over here. Now if I wanted to change them or really just go back, let's say I wanted to go back to this one. If I come back and click on this, as you see, my icon color stays the same. Now, of course, I use Photo Shuffle, so it will not stick to one specific wallpaper in the background. But you see that if you decided to have a specific linked wallpaper, your eye content will stay matched to that when you switch back to that focus mode or that wallpaper set. So I like the fact that they actually added that here with iOS 18.1 beta 2 and hopefully that actually stays here in the stable release as well now control center has had some changes so if we swipe down come over here to control center the icons are bigger so if we go into app controls or, or if you want to call our control modules all of the icons within the little bubbles have actually enlarged in the control center and they added a Bluetooth option now that you can add into the actual control center. So if I click on it, you'll see right there and you can readjust the size. So that's also really nice to see that, that you can actually do with Bluetooth. And I, I'm surprised it took them this long to like add a Bluetooth option <laughs> for your control center module instead of just leaving it bundled up here. I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised it took that long. But nonetheless, that's what we have going on with the control center. Now, swiping back down the lock screen, we've actually had the opposite change take place in the lock screen. And that is the icons have actually gotten a little smaller. And the Shazam icon and Shazam module no longer works on the lock screen. Not only is the image gone, but it doesn't work anymore. That's about it for the lock screen. So for purposes in terms of this, just be mindful of that. And who knows, this could change again <laughs> when it comes to uh, the next beta release because it seems like Apple still kind of doesn't know what they want to do. And now in terms of messages or the keyboard, if I come in here to messages, I click on me and I come down here and I click on this. If I click on the emoji keyboard, we see that this uh, these sticker emojis are still here. They're taking a little bit to load though. These are still here, which is nice. But what's also nice is if I click on here, uh, it looks like what the most recent ones were used are the ones that end up being uh, the most used, the most recent emoji keyboard is back to working relatively fine. There's still some spacing, it looks like. It looks like they may have lessened the space. But yes, the most used or most recent, I should say, emoji keyboard aspect is actually now working again with iOS 18.1 beta 2. Some other things that we've been able to see and notice is within the settings. So if we actually come back in the settings, oh, settings, where are you settings? Settings has now added some more dark mode features as well, and that is in regards to iCloud. So if we uh, come in here and I just turn my dark mode on real quick, you'll notice that we're going to start seeing more dark mode icons on the outset here. And you see it down here in this section here, all the dark mode based kind of icons. And if we come into iCloud iCloud also had dark mode icons in here. So hopefully this is a welcome change because we need this to be a welcome change. What else do we have? We also have in, in tap, uh, Apple Intelligence and Siri, we now have a talk and type to Siri active. And so this is where you can, of course, say Siri's name or turn it off or press and hold the button, which is what I do. You could type to Siri and they actually readjusted being able to do that and this also has a dark mode look as well i like the dark mode and the light mode look for type of siri but they readjusted the sensitivity of the double tap on the home button or home tab to bring up siri and i think that was a good idea because you could easily trigger it now for me personally i never really easily triggered it i know initially i had a problem triggering and i had to reboot my iphone for it to work but since then i haven't had any issues i like the entire look of Siri, and it's a welcome change for iOS 18 as a whole for our iPhone and Apple devices. 
in privacy and security we also have another change if i can find it here privacy and security we have a change down here at the bottom and that is stolen device protection has moved over here to security you no longer need your face id to actually get inside of it which uh, is a little interesting but you can change, you can still change it here from away from familiar locations to always. And you still will probably have that, what was it, 45 minute to one hour timer if it's, you know, depending on what you chose right there. And what else do we have going on with iOS 18.1 beta 2? Well, photos. Photos is now changed. So before, photos used to have the ability to swipe to the left and swipe to the right. They took that away. I think they may have taken that away from photos because it may have been confusing to some individuals or to some people. And so I think for those reasons, they actually removed that option altogether and just dumped everything down here at the bottom. And so now you have yeah, all your options below your photo grid. Now, what's nice about this is you can actually customize it. So scrolling all the way down to the bottom, customize and reorder. You can reorder and customize and tab on and off or toggle on and off all the things you actually want as part of your, photo set, your, your photos app. So for me, I keep people, albums, media types, and utilities. I get rid of recent days. I get rid of, uh, and then pin collections, memories, trips, so on is down at the bottom. And I get rid of featured photos, shared album and wallpaper suggestions because I already kind of know what I'm doing with my wallpapers. So I kind of simplified my photos experience, but you can do the same thing now within photos. And hopefully this is going to be here to stay with the final release of iOS 18 slash iOS 18.1. And that's the other thing that's going to be interesting. What of these updates are part of iOS 18 and most of this stuff has actually been a part of iOS 18. iOS 18.1 is heavily focused on Apple intelligence. So keep that in mind as well. Safari has finally added what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing people call the Thanos snap or distraction control. And so if we click on an article, let's just say if we click on this article with this up, oh no, that's a YouTube video. Ha ha ha. All right, I need an actual article. So let's, let's go to olympics.com. It should still work on olympics.com. And if you want to get rid of things, all you got to do is click on this button right here and then click on hide distracting items so if once you click on this it's going to ask you or say this is what you're going to be able to do and all you got to do now is select and it dano snaps away dano snaps away and you're able to get to your article a whole lot faster um no that's no okay i can dano snap that away as well if i wanted to and i guess and once you're done, then you just hit done. But as you guys can see, now you can actually get... Now, I don't know why I clicked on this because it didn't, didn't give me no information. I, I hate these kind of websites. But what's nice is if you want to bring something back, you just click on the little eye, eye icon right there in your, uh, in your uh, bar, your, your address bar, and then show hidden items. And so now it will show everything that you hidden, uh, uh, that you hid, and then you can always rehide stuff if you wanted to. So it's nice to see that this is back, or <laughs> back, this is officially here now with uh, iOS 18.1 beta 2. A long, uh, I don't want to say overdue, but I like the fact that they actually added it and that it's here. And I'm glad Google is returned to regular Google and it's not just Paris Olympics anymore. Shout out to LeBron and them. I mean, LeBron still playing the way he playing at near 40 is amazing some of the one-offs that i can think of is if we come back in here to control center and click on the plus icon if we add you see that they added a new capture area where camera uh scan and magnifier is in now so they have their own official dedicated section within the control module so that's interesting to see there if we come into settings again or really yeah settings and we go to photos photos has a new option that you can choose from that will maybe improve your your search experience so upon scrolling down here in op photos there's an option down here called vi uh, enhanced visual search and as you see it allows this device to privately match places in your photos with a global index maintained by apple so you can search by almost any landmark or point of interest the reason why i'm reading slow is because again i'm doing this behind the camera and it can be kind of hard to see 
but that's an option if you want that turned on or stay turned on for your photos so that way it makes it easier for you to be able to search for things whether it's with spotlight or just within the photos app itself and then there's also an option for wi-fi i have to find it here again i believe it's actually in wi-fi itself so as you guys can see i had to hide it it is it's within a, a your actual wi-fi itself so it's going to be kind of hard but as you guys can see you see it says private Wi-Fi address right above my thumb. It's focus, it's out of it's defocused because of my thumb. And you see there's an option called fix. Well, if I click on it, you have an option with your actual Wi-Fi to provide additional security for it. And you can have it as a fixed Wi-Fi address or a rotating type of Wi-Fi address. So that way, you know, it keeps your device. I guess uh, more secure. So that's also a nice welcome change here by Apple for the security of our Apple devices. Apple Music also has a change and it's a pretty interesting one. So if I swipe down, you guys will see that Apple Music is now called new instead of browse in terms of the second kind of icon tab down here. Now it's called new, which I guess also makes sense because this is where you're gonna find the most new or most recent music released on apple music so naming it new i guess does make a little bit more sense from that perspective but nothing like too crazy so that's another change there and there's been some several flash uh splash screens that have kind of popped up here and there in terms of uh you know new features or additions to apps so be on the lookout for those when you click on especially apple apps you'll you'll notice that and i would also say that they probably just continue to optimize the new features optimize apple intelligence with this update it was a 1.4 ish gigabyte update so along with adding a few of those uh, changes and adjustments i'm sure there's a lot of like smaller things that we don't know but we'll notice through using our phone such as bug fixes smoothing it out processes and operations in the background for our iPhones to be used as great as possible. Now, if we come back into settings, I'm going to show you guys something about my battery life because that is important. I have finally lost a percentage. I think I may have showed you guys this already, but I'm down to 99% off of 260 charge cycles. So basically coming up on a year, I finally lost 1% and I can guarantee I lost that 1% if not because of CarPlay, wired CarPlay that is, is because of running the beta software. So even if you combine those two, I can see my phone finally dropping 1%. Now I've only been running this for about 24 hours. And so, like I said, the only thing I've noticed so far performance wise is my app icons changing in size whenever I come and leave. Now, because I changed it to tenant, it doesn't look like it changed. And if I want to, I'm a, hold on. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna experiment here on the phone real quick. If I go ahead and do this, and then I hit done, will this change my icons because they're tinted? Yes, so as you guys can see, even with my tinted icons, if I adjust my lock screen, or even if I don't, I just hit done and it thinks it did, it will reset my icons completely. So keep that in mind when you're adjusting your your home page, your home screen, your customization, your customizations. Your icons may be subject to change because of a bug within the system right now, but I'm sure this will get ironed out in the next beta update. You know, I, I think that we should see iOS 18.1 beta 3 next week, the 19th, but it's very possible we'll see it on the 26th if it's a bi-weekly thing. If it is a bi-weekly thing, we should see a C build, hopefully. Uh, or a D build, hopefully, meaning we're inching closer to the to the final release. That would be amazing uh, to see iOS 18 jump from like an E or an F build all the way to a B build was very, very promising and very good. So hopefully we see something similar take place here with iOS 18.1 beta 2. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about the iPhone so far. What do you think about iOS 18? Are you excited for Apple intelligence? The comment section is open for discussion. But again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like the like button, subscribe, channel the notification bell, so all free that way for videos. So you and I can sit back, check, see who's cracking. And don't forget to hit that super thanks button down there by the like and dislike button. Catch on paypal and check the channel out for all the videos available to you that's a way to keep tech fresh and alive on this channel join mike is signing out until the next video wait for it.